Hello, and welcome back. This is the third in a series of videos on the history of Japanese woodblock prints and the collection of Japanese works on paper at the Honolulu Museum of Art. I'm Stephen Salel, the curator of Japanese art. In our last video, we talked about Hishikawa Moronobu, one of the earliest known designers of Japanese prints. We also discussed the term ukiyo-e, literally pictures of the floating world, which was coined by Moronobu's contemporaries during the course of his career. Ukiyo-e refers to paintings and prints that celebrate the pursuit of pleasure by commoners in early modern Japan. This video will introduce the woodblock print designer Tori Kiyonobu I, who I will refer to from now on simply as Kiyonobu. His student, Kiyonobu II, was also an important print artist, but he will not be discussed in this video. Like his predecessor Moronobu, Kiyonobu published many prints in book format. And also like Moronobu, Kiyonobu published erotic works in print folios and other formats. In this video, however, we will focus mostly upon Kiyonobu's work in the field of portraiture. Kiyonobu was born in Osaka around 1664. His father was a kabuki actor and a painter, and Kiyonobu himself grew up painting signboards for kabuki performances. When he was in his 20s, the family moved to Edo. There, he assisted with the foundation of the Tori School of Painting. More importantly, he also produced prints that document two facets of Edo's entertainment industry, the Kabuki Theater and the Yoshiwara Brothel District. Many of Kiyonobu's prints focus upon celebrities who achieved fame within Edo's popular culture during the late 17th century. One branch of that pop culture was the Kabuki Theater. The history of Kabuki can be broken into three eras. The first began in 1603 when Okuni, a supplementary priestess from a Shinto shrine in Kyoto, began performing with a troupe of female dancers on an improvised stage in a nearby riverbed. This era is described as women's Kabuki, or in Japanese, Onna Kabuki. The performances of Onna Kabuki, a mixture of comical, sexually suggestive theater and dance, immediately gained the attention of commoners, and the troupe became increasingly popular. By 1629, however, rumors that some of the dancers were moonlighting as prostitutes impelled the shogun to ban women from the kabuki stage entirely. Immediately after women were forbidden from performing, they were replaced by teenage boys, wakashu. And so began the second era of kabuki, wakashu kabuki. Ironically, in 1652, these young men were banned from the stage as well, because just as the actresses had done, they developed improper relationships with some of their fans. Records of popular Wakashu actors such as Yoshizawa Ayame that date to the end of the 17th century, however, indicate that this ban was not strictly enforced. In 
In the third era of Kabuki history, from 1652 until today, all actors, including those portraying women and children, were ostensibly adult men, described in Japanese as yaro. Due to increasingly rigorous censorship by the government, the narratives of yaro kabuki, though as ostentatious as ever, shifted from erotic topics to more militaristic tales of heroism and treachery. One of the most famous actors from this time period was Ichikawa Danjiro I, who popularized a particularly bombastic style of acting. Since then, the Ichikawa Danjiro lineage, perpetuated by the best disciple in each successive generation, has remained the undisputed monarchy of the Kabuki stage. Depicted here is one actor from that lineage, possibly Ichikawa Danjiro I himself. The name Ichikawa Ebizo, an alternate name for Ichikawa Danjiro, is written to the right of the actor's left shoulder. The crest for the Ichikawa family, a set of concentric squares, is also visible on the actor's left shoulder. On many kabuki portraits, the only way in which to identify the actor is through his family crest. While kabuki fans may know some of these by heart, the rest of us need to rely upon charts like this. Can you find the family crest for Ichikawa Danjiro? Each of the actor portraits by Kiyonobu that we have looked at so far have included an actor crest. In addition to kabuki actors, Kiyonobu portrayed courtesans from the Yoshiwara brothel district. Moronobu depicted these women in his study of the different occupations in Edo society. At the beginning of the 17th century, the military government legalized prostitution in designated areas within its major cities. In Edo, that district was the Yoshiwara. From 1617 until 1958, women were employed as indentured servants in a variety of roles, ranging from culturally sophisticated courtesans and glamorous waitresses to street prostitutes. Through the portraits of ukiyo-e artists such as Kiyonobu, high-ranking courtesans from the Yoshiwara became known throughout the country. In addition to inscribing their names, Kiyonobu depicted their crests. However, unlike those previously discussed, which represented individual kabuki actors or the actors' families, these crests represented the particular brothel to which the courtesan belonged. When looking at a map of the Yoshiwada district, the location of these brothels are indicated by their crests. These crests can also be found in the annually published guidebooks to the Yoshiwada district. Kiyonobu depicted courtesans in sumptuous kimonos and current hairstyles. In this way, Kiyonobu's courtesans became fashion icons whose celebrity status rivaled his kabuki actors. Unlike other artists who accentuated women's physical delicacy and the ascetic of cuteness, Kiyonobu often presented the courtesans as regal, self-confident individuals. In this way, the artist set the stage for the Kaigetsudo school of print designers, which we will discuss in the next video.